Bonjour, this is Madame Vidman, and in this video, we are going to talk about some tips for success in French class. Okay, so the number one biggest tip is to be in class. I know that sounds kind of obvious, but it is actually super important because we do tons of interactive listening and speaking every day in class. And this is by far the best way to learn a foreign language or a new language is by that in-person practice. And it's something that Unfortunately, you can't really make up or recreate if you're not there, right? So the biggest thing is to be in class. It's really paramount to success. Next is to be an active learner, okay? So I tell students that they should be listening, focused, and thinking all the time during class. And that, you know, if they don't understand something, just ask right away. Um, I also tell students that, you know, participation in all the kinds of different activities we do, such as games and stories, songs, things like that, the more that you're participating in those, the better you're going to do in class. Because why? Well, Learning a new language is all about repetition, repetition, and repetition. Yeah. So, of course, repetition can get old, which is why I like to do lots of different things, such as games and things like that, uh, just to kind of make the repetition a little more fun, right? Why not? And um, so being active in that repetition is very, very important. I also tell students every year that, hey, I contribute 50% every day, but then students also have to contribute 50% every day, right? Okay, so basically that means that I can stand up and do my songs and games and things like that in class, but if a student isn't being active and they are not putting in effort as well, then you're probably not going to do very well in the class. But if I'm putting in my 50% and a student is putting in their 50%, adds up to 100. Oh, yeah, that's the goal. <laughs> All right. Number three, I always like to tell my classes to choose your positive attitude because students who have a lot of enthusiasm, really get into the games, um, doing movements and gestures that we do with vocab, um, singing songs, participate, all that. Those are the students who do the best in my classes, right? And, you know, I, I get it. I understand we all have our bad days, right? And, you know, I tell students, hey, sometimes I don't always like feel like, oh, I don't want to play a game today, Ugh. but I'll stop and I'll say to myself, you know what, I got to choose my positive attitude and kind of tell students, hey, fake it till you make it, right? I kind of choose to be positive and before long, I find that I'm having fun at whatever it is that we're doing. So um, along with that, I always also tell students to make sure that they're always sitting up in class, eyes on our, on the activity, using nonverbal responses like facial expressions or nodding or shaking the head um, really help me to see if they're understanding what we're doing or not. All right. Number four, respect others. I definitely insist on no jokes or insults or judgments of others in my classes because it really takes courage to learn a foreign language, a new language. And we're all in this together, right? So it's really not productive for anyone to, you know, insult or make a joke about someone else in the class. Kind of along with that, I also tell students no side talk or blurting out or other distractions, especially when someone else, either a teacher or a student is speaking because you're affecting 
your own learning and others learning as well. And my last thing with respecting others is be willing to get along with and work with uh, other classmates, right? We do all kinds of different activities with partners, with groups. I like to mix things up all the time. So students are going to be asked to work with all kinds of people in their classes all the time. And they need to be willing to do that and willing to make, make it work and get along. All right. Tip number five is to check progress book, Google Classroom, and your Oakwood school's email on the daily. I'm not talking 50 times a day, but I like to tell students start a habit now, like maybe there's a certain time during the day every day where you get online and you check your progress book, you check your Google Classrooms, you check your Oakwood School's email. Maybe it's during a study hall, maybe it's during advisory period, maybe it's um, when you get home from school right after your you get home from school, or maybe it's right after you eat dinner. But if you can get into that habit of doing that daily, that's really going to help to make sure that you're not missing anything. Um, especially the other most important thing from my class is on Google Classroom, if students have been absent, that is where they need to go to find their makeup work. And I have a whole nother video about how I use Google Classroom in my classes. So if you're curious about that, feel free to check that video out. All right, number six, tip number six, a little bit of practice every day is better than hours of practice all at once. Uh, research has shown that short amounts of practice, so we're talking five to 15 minutes, of a new language outside of class every day is better than just one or two super long practice sessions. Um, once again, that kind of helps with storing that information and those words in our long-term memory, right? So just a little bit every day, that's what I try to reinforce. All right, tip number seven, speak only in French when Madame's French flag magnet is on the board or more often than that is great. Immersion, of course, is the best way to learn. I try to avoid as much as possible using English in class because the goal is to get students thinking in French. And I always make sure I tell students, hey, it might be a little tough sometimes. And I understand I, French is not my native language. I learned it as a foreign language as well. So I remember what it's like. To, you might go through periods of frustration because you don't know enough vocab yet to express yourself. I always tell students that's normal. Just hang in there. Keep being active with your learning and you will get to a place where you have enough vocab to express yourself. Um, but I super encourage as well, um, creativity, like using motions and gestures um, to try to get your point across. And between that and myself, I can usually fill in the gaps pretty well and you know provide any missing vocab fairly well at, um, also. All right, and my last tip, tip number eight, is always keep trying. I say that failing is an option, but giving up is not. So especially when you're learning a new language, everyone is going to make mistakes. I tell students, hey, I still make mistakes too when I'm speaking French, and I've been doing this for decades now. Um, but mistakes are good. They really do help us to learn. So, you know, I always tell students, don't be afraid of the mistakes. If you say a sentence in French, that is awesome. It doesn't have to be perfect. All you have to do is just keep trying. Okay, so I hope this video helps uh, give you a little more insight into how to be successful in French class this year. Merci.